So the first plugin is something called Flex Tools, and it's actually a uh, suite of tools um, which do various things, but they have one in particular called the Component Finder, which is here. And all this is um, is something linked to all my saved components on my hard drive, and it's just a really quick, convenient way to access them. So um, I've got uh, all these different cabinet ranges uh, stored. All these folders represent a different range and door style. And then within each um, folder, I've got sort of base cabinets, countertops, tall cabinets. So if I go into base cabinets, that's further subdivided into the different kinds of base cabinets. We've got drawer packs, full height doors, etc. Um, so if I just want to bring a cabinet in, uh, let's just go to say a drawer pack, a uh, two pan drawer, um, and then just click it in and bring it in. And then it's straight into our scene that quick. And then again, um, let's say, uh, I want a tall cabinet. Um, just go to tall cabinets. Let's say, uh, pull out larders all the different sort of sizes. Let's have that one there. And then we'll just sort of put them into place in our model. It will of course work in uh, 3D or whatever sort of, uh, however you like to work. So let's have this little tall slim one, put them in here, oops, flip him round. And then you can just sort of put them into place wherever you want. Uh, one good advantage is the component search box. So uh, let's say we uh, we go to another sort of range here um, and I go into base cabinets and I want a particular size. Uh, let's say these and you can just type in the top box there, let's say a 600 width and then all the 600 width um, cabinets will show and all the others will disappear. So another advantage that Flex Tools has over the standard com SketchUp components um, importer is you can pin um, these tabs, like these sort of oblong white things here. Uh, and all they are are shortcuts to certain folders on my hard drive. So um, the way it works for me in a really good way, if I just double click that, um, if I want to quickly put an end panel or a filler post in, which isn't part of any standard cabinet range, they are already pinned to the component finder. So if I go back into my uh, 2D mode, so let's just quickly put another cabinet in. We'll put a full height door. We'll put this little 400 cabinet there. Just snap it to that one there. Um, and let's say we want to have an end panel then. So all I do is I double click on the end panel, um, little fly out, click which one I want. There we go, flip him round, put him on the end. And there we go. Just um, put that on the floor. And that's pretty much it really. Um, you can add as many shortcuts here as you want to different ranges, different styles of cabinets. And um, yeah, makes life a lot easier.